Hello? This is like actually the earliest start. Okay, no, that's a lie. I've started my stream earlier, but this is the earliest I've ever decided to come on stream. So I'll be back in like one minute. I'm rating I'm ranking all of these fucking weapons right here. And by the way, I am gonna be completely biased for a lot of these, so start thinking where you wanna rate these. I'm just gonna leave it on screen for like a minute or something. I'll be right back. Alright, let's get this started. Can I let the music play out? I don't know. My hair is wet. I, I just want you guys all to know, so here's why here's why the stream, what is it? Here's why I came late today. I have reasons, alright? So the first reason, I woke up late. I woke up at eleven like thirty or some shit, right? Like that. That's that's late for my for me, alright? Number two, I showered, right? Because I'm actually clean. Unlike almost every other person that plays this game. You know, I'm actually like a clean human being. And third of all, I'm lazy. I had to make a thumbnail and everything. Like, cut me some slack. I did. I did what I could. But, anyways, if you're even if there's only like not that many people here at all, I today we're gonna be ranking every single fucking melee weapon in the game. I don't know if this is every single weapon because I, I I'm looking at this right now. I'm already seeing some that are missing, like the regular what is it, the regular flail that you get from a chest. Besides that, I don't think. I think this is everything. I don't know. Should I go off of like the order of like progression or should I just like start with like this adamantite spear? There's like, what is it? I mean, there's not a lot of you here, but who knows if there's, what is it? If there's even a decent amount of you here, you guys can have your input here too. Your input actually matters for once. All right. I know surprising enough, surprising. It actually does matter, but we will see. We will see. You know, what? I'll just start with, uh, what is it? I think I'll start with like progression wise, like how it goes. So let's start with the first one. So is the copper short sword here? Do any of you see it? There we go. Copper short sword. I'm already, you guys are, wait, <clears throat> I need to add another tier. So let's add, or how do I add it? Does anyone know how to add another tier? There we go. Uh, add a row below. Yes. Add a row below. And we're going to edit that. We're going to call this one F or sh what should we call this tier? <clears throat> I'm gonna call this tier uh who's the worst fucking player you guys know in this game in Terraria? 
Even though there is no worst player, there's like no way to rank it. You know, we'll call it F for now until we can think of something. So the the rankings are S, A, B, C, D, and F. Again, we'll come up with names in the future, but I'm gonna start off simple. The Copper Short Sword. I'm putting this in a D. Actually, this one I'm conflicted. Cause this thing, right? This thing, Zenith, Zenith Material Tree. Tree. Hello. Yes, Mr. Wallcat. You, what's up? I hate you. I fucking hate you too. Chippy? Alright. Actually, I, I want respect from Chippy. So S tier will be Chippy. F? What should F be? You know, oh, I see what you're saying. Fuck you guys. Alright, fine. I'll be, I'll be F tier because you guys are fucking lame. But here's the Copper Short Sword. It's used for the Zenith. So like, I, I don't think it's fair to completely put it in my tier or D tier. I feel like it's at least like a bottom C or a top D tier. Hello, Jacob Foss. It's got to be at least one of these two. Because if it's used for the like the best weapon in the game, it can't be like, you know, like complete shit, right? Nah, Copper Sword, I always be using the Axe instead. Yeah, I, I use the Axe instead. There's like, so I'm ranking these on like how useful they are and like how good they are as a weapon. Obviously how good it is, it's going to be F. And yes, F like flame. Haha, ha, very fucking funny, Mr. Wallcat. But I'm thinking like, I might put D, because it's like, the only saving grace this sword has is that it's used to make the zenith, which is like, that alone, I would put it at like the bottom of C, that and it's like the short sword, it's like, it's an iconic fucking weapon. So, for now, we'll just put it at D tier. It's not complete F, because like, again, all these swords here, no matter how bad they are, they're at least like, you know, they're at least useful in some capacity. So, we'll start off with that. Next up, we have the copper broadsword. This is... Honestly, I'm going to put it in the same tier. I'm going to put it below the Copper Short Sword. Who the hell is crafting this? Like, who's actually, like, crafting, like, the, the Broadsword? When you could get, like, you know, a bow or something. Well, okay, if we're speaking on, like, true melee. Like, at this point, by the time you can make this, you will be able to create a lead Broadsword or anything better than that. So, I don't see anyone crafting this, really. I'd say the Short, the short Sword only beats it out because, again, it's used to make the Zenith. So we're just gonna I'm just gonna put it below the copper short sword in D tier. This is a sword tier tier list and a material tier list. This is like every melee weapon tier list. Like all the swords and like weapons considered like melee weapons. Oh uh, let's see, what's next here? I, I'll just go like from what I guess is a the wooden broadsword, um I'll put it slightly above the copper the copper broadsword. Because like this is like if you're truly like, you could use the axe instead, but I see you- I just see a lot more people using this sword more than the copper sword, like, at the beginning of the game. So I think that makes sense. Let's see. Did I finish Quincy? Yes, it was- it's the greatest anime of all time, right? You have to agree with me. Once you finish it, you'll understand. I tell people, I was like, dude, that show's fucking fire. You better watch it. And once they- once they watch it, they actually say it's good, so... You have to agree, it's peak now, right? That show's actually peak, but... Anyways, let's see. Zombie arm. I'd say... It's above the Copper Short Sword in D tier. I mean, I rarely get it, and even when I do, I already have, like, something better to go off of. Okay. Do we really need to rate this one? Do we really need to rate the Zenith? Do we actually really need to rate this sword? I think it's... I think it's obvious where this goes, right? No, I'm kidding. It, yeah, self-explanatory. Oh, let's see. Wooden yo-yo? I'd say C? I'd say C. Because depending on where you get it in the game, it's it can be useful as, like, simple ranged weapons. So, I'd say it's, like, the very bottom. It's going to be, like, the very bottom of the C tier. Let's see. Wooden boomerang? I'd say... Mm, just below the copper shorts or in D. I'd say that. Or, actually, I changed my mind. The zombie arm? No. I mean, I never use this in any of my playthroughs. Never. I don't think I've ever once, like, considered using this over, like, anything else in the playthrough. Let's see what we got. Oh, uh, Umbrella. I mean, do people really use this as a weapon? I'll put it below the zombie arm in, F in my tier, so. I mean, it, I, I don't ever recall myself using this. What is this? Oh, is this the tin short sword? Okay, we'll put it in the same rank as, like, the tin, as the copper ones. Because they're, like, they're both, like, exactly the same thing. But just because the copper one is more, what is it? 
it's more relevant than the tin one ever was the copper one's going above it for relevancy and for relevancy's sake uh let's see we have the the spear i mean the spear is pretty good i'll put it in c i'd say c is like a solid like was it ranking for this considering like where you get it in the game and it's like progression wise it's like dude i can't fucking i i don't think i've ever like been in a playthrough where it's like dude the spear fucking sucks right now i wish i had like something else oh well, obviously i'm like that but it's like in the current progression system where if you get it from a chest this is like the spear is like your best friend until you get like an enchanted sword or something with range or even a, the yo-yo and eh, actually the spear is slightly better than the yo-yo i'll put it i'll put it above because i see it's more useful than the yo-yo for sure let's see um we'll do is there the lead one anywhere there's okay these are all these are all f all of these like the different like wooden swords they're all f like i mean sure they look cool all right in terms of looks we're putting the pink one on top the pink one looks the best to be honest but as for the rest it's like when are you ever crafting especially the pearl wood sword if they had a use of bench in the game maybe i could see it but no they they, they don't they're just they're just god awful anyways oh is this another one or wait is this the fly meal i think this is the fly meal i think and we'll put it back for now um let's see where's the lead one? Oh, there's the another wooden sword you know we'll rate the bone sword the bone sword i mean it's decent i'll put it on the top of d I'll put it on top. I'll put it there. I'll put it in D tier for now. It's only slightly better than them. Let's see. Is the lead broadsword anywhere? Or... Okay, I feel like all like these short swords, all like the craftable short swords, they all belong in F because none of us are really like crafting them, really. I guess if you're doing like a short sword only challenge, but that's it. That's the only extent it really has. And then this is iron. Okay, this is the iron one, so... Iron sword, uh, we'll put in... We'll put it in middle of C. We'll put it right here. Because it's like the first like upgradable sword you can get. That's better than like, you know, your copper short sword or like these two swords. It's the first one you can get. So and if you haven't gotten these, or we'll put it bot below these. If you haven't gotten these two, you're definitely gonna craft this. Or put it above the yo-yo. It's better than the yo-yo for sure. Let's see. Oh, the lead one? Eh, I feel like the lead one's better. Like every time I play the game, it's like the lead one's just genuinely better. So we'll put it. Yeah, we'll put it like this, and then tungsten one. Where's the tungsten one? Tungsten's the same as silver, so we'll put it only just slightly above the broadsword. I'll even do the same with, like, the short sword, too. It's only, yeah, it's only, like, right there. And then the silver one. Silver's the same thing, but it's only slightly worse. And then we have, like, what is it? Like, I'm getting, like, all, like, the pre-hard mode stuff out. All right, golden or platinum sword. Yeah, we'll put that top, because I feel like platinum's, like... You craft a platinum sword, it's like, you're pretty much there until you, like, kill the Eye of Cthulhu. And from there, it's just like, you know, it's pretty much fucking over once you get, like, the stuff from Eye of Cthulhu. I think that's it for all the boring stuff, really. I think that's true. Okay, Classy Kane, like, who's you? I'm, I'm putting this bottom of D. No one really uses it. Like, I'm putting it, I'm only, I'm not putting it in this tier because, like, it's a Classy Kane. It's, like, it's cool. I mean... I'll put it top of F tier, because let's be honest, someone's really using it. No one in their right mind is using it. Sorry, I'm traveling in between cities right now. Are you actually? Congrats. I mean, to be fair, you're doing a lot more than I'm doing. I'm fucking streaming. I'm streaming to, like, an audience of no one, so... You're, do you're doing so much better than I am, so congrats to you. You're a W-mans. Anyways, moving on, we have... Let's see. I'm trying to look here. Mm, let's do the Knight's Edge materials next. We have Light's Bane... I'll put that breathing rod. Yeah, I don't know why the breathing rod's here. I'm not. I mean, I'm not gonna rate that, but who knows? Lights bane. Uh, we'll put a B. It's a solid B tier. Once you get it, I feel like there's other weapons you could choose from. But once you get it, it's like you know, it's part of the knight's edge. You really need this weapon for various things. And what else? We have Muramasa. I feel like Muramasa is just like depends where you get it. I'll put it top of A. It's it's a good A sword. Because once you get it, it's like, it's like, it used to be considered like one of the fastest like swords in pre-hard mode. And it was super good. And I think Blade of Grass goes is S. E super easy to obtain. You can get it anywhere in pre-hard mode if you're really good. It's just like, actually, we'll raise Zenith last. Because like, you know, it's Zenith. But 
Blade of Grass, it's like, it's got to be in this rank. It's got to be in Chippy. Like, let's be honest. Ruler no ruler no dips Zen Zenith. That's true. The ruler, I'll have a special ranking for that. But the Blade of Grass, it's just like, you can get it anywhere in the game. And it's like, it still probably tops off a ton of different swords in hard mode. Muramasa, I can see it being S. I can see it being up here. But with how easily obtainable the accessible the blade of grasses i just don't see it beating it out in the s, s rank for now and then fiery great sword okay let's be honest do you guys really call it volcano because it's called volcano right volcano terraria do you guys really call it volcano i'm still gonna call it the fire the fiery great sword i'm still calling it the fiery great sword no matter what like it's too iconic of a sword to change the name you know I like the buffs that they added to it, but at the same time, the name different. I can see why it's called Volcano now, but because it makes like an explosion upon hit. It's still the Fiery Greatsword in my heart, so we'll put it just above the, the Muramasa because it does more damage overall. It's it's a slow it's a slow sword, but it's too iconic of a sword to like you know not put in that tier. No, it's always been. It'll always be the fire. Exactly, it'll always be the fiery great sword in my heart. Oh, uh, the bloody machete. I mean, depends. If it's Halloween, I'll put it. I'll put it bone sword level because you can only really get this during like Halloween, right? And if you get it like pre hard mode, if you're lucky enough to get it, then it's a pretty good like ranged weapon. Let's see, bloody machete, bloody machete, where are ya? Bloody machete. Yeah, let's see here. Boomerang type. It's during. The, yeah, it's during the Halloween seasonal event, and you can. Yeah, it's pretty good 20 melee damage it's a ranged weapon so or it's it's a ranged melee weapon i'll put it on top of the bone sword it's more actually we'll put it i'll put it above the yo-yo actually for c tier or fuck it we're putting it right here we'll put it right here in the middle of c because it's actually pretty useful if you actually learn the weapon and get it pretty early on it's really pretty useful yellets i feel like this is another s tier weapon if you're if you really oh top of a or s i'm debating i'm debating i think it's i feel like it's top of a for now because at that point wouldn't you rather yeah you'd rather craft the blade of grass at that point if you have the, or let's see zealots material materials terraria you would rather craft the blade of grass correct let's see oh no that's the hard mode wait Wait, this is the hard. Never mind, that's the hard mode version. Here it is, the Amazon. That's what I meant. The am I'm f I am I am stupid. So the Amazon, yes. Let's see. Yeah, rich mahogany. Actually, no, because it's only like. It's not really that much. It's really not that much when you compare it to like the blade of grass, which is like twenty. I'm pretty sure. We'll put it just below it, because these two weapons. I feel like if you craft this in the jungle, it's like an easy buy. When like traversing through the jungle and shit, so I feel like that's just, that's an easy like S right there. Let's see, if this is the fly meal. I'm pretty sure, right? If this is the fly meal, I'm putting it. Okay, in terms of melee weapon, it's gonna be it's gonna be down here, but it's gonna be at the top, because like if you want to kill your NPCs, this is the option right here. But to be honest, yeah, it's there, because you know, other than killing your NPCs, are you really gonna use it as an actual weapon? No, exactly. Let's see, the Tragic Umbrella, uh, I'm putting it, I'm gonna put it right here, because when you ever, like, use it, you know, it's only slightly better than the regular Umbrella, and it's like, the way you get it, it's kind of like, why, you know, it's kind of like, why would you get it, fuck it, I'll put it above the Classy Cane in F tier, I think Copper Short Shooter want to be an A, that is true, it's too iconic of a weapon, we will come back to this. I feel like Copper Short Sword is definitely on top of... So, my genuine reason why I put... Why the Copper Short Sword is not down here is because it's used for Zenith, like I said earlier. But, because... And it's iconic, so I mean, you kind of have to put it there. What's next? What is next? Let's do... Let's see. Is that all the pure... Oh, okay, here we go. Where's the flail at? Where's the, fu where's the fucking flail? There it is. I'll put these two together. This one, I feel like it's A. With how accessible and easy it is to get... It's like, once you find it, you just need to combine, like, 100 torches, torches, and it's like, you know, it's it's a pretty good weapon for early hard mode. So, I'm putting it on top of A. 
The only reason I'm putting it above the Fiery Greatsword and Muravasa is because the accessibility you get and how useful it could be. I think this could carry you like to, to Aya Cthulhu once you get better weapons. But hello, Mr. Gamer Chase. Welcome back. We're doing tier lists. So, oh, how can I forget this one? Cactus Sword. I'm gonna put it B. B or I'll put it on top of C for now with the spear. It's the same level as the spear. It's like one of the more basic swords you could get. Like I would rather I more often than not I craft this. Right, in terms of like sword wise, I craft the cactus sword more than the lead sword. And by the time I have that, I have materials for like the lead sword. I'll probably get like a better weapon or like better weapon than like a wooden yo yo or a broadsword or a spear, you know? Like getting this is like kind of like a gateway to getting better weapons, so. I kind of have to put it there. I'm back, I got 10 minutes, but it's fine. You're good, you're good, don't worry about it. Let's see here, what's next? Thorn Cacrum. It's it's decent. I'll put it below the light spain and B. Like it's decent. It's not a bad weapon whatsoever, but it's just like when you're with it being like the same materials. Yeah, I remember you. Don't worry. I remember you, Gamer Chase. With it being the same materials as like the Amazon and the Blade of Grass, and with these two being arguably better than this weapon, there's like no point in crafting it. It's still a good weapon, but there's like there's almost no point in crafting it when you have these two weapons, especially the Blade of Grass is chunking all, just like devouring all the materials used for the Thorn Cacrum. There's just no point, I guess. But I don't know. I feel I feel like that's fair. Let's see. The Blade Glove depends. This is like another one you can only get in the Halloween. But when you get it, I'd say if there's like a, a way to access it all the time, it would be a. But since it's only in Halloween, I just like chilling in chat. That's fair. That's fair. That's fucking fair. Thank God I made it. What's up, random dumb guy? But I'd say the blade, if it was more accessible, it'd be here. But if you're playing in the Halloween event, I'd say, fuck, I don't know. Where would you put this? Because in Halloween event, it's easily A tier. But for the rest of the game, it's like you never see it. I'll put it... I, th I feel like it deserves, like, a bottom of B tier. Oh, yeah, you guys are having a field day in chat, I can tell. But it's bottom B tier, I'd say. Bottom B tier, it's so it's way better than all these weapons combined. The only downside is that you can only really get it during the Halloween event. So I'll, I'll, keep, I'll put it bottom B tier. Let's see, what else is there for pre-hard mode? Th this thing's garbage. It's, you know, we'll put it below that in D tier. My sister sold nerd cat to upgrade anchor cat to level 14. Oh, are you guys battle cat players? Oh my fucking god. It I tried playing it. So here's a story. This one girl, there's this one cute girl in my in my physics class who played the game. And she got me into that game, right? She got me into playing battle cats. And I was obsessed for it for like I think like two days. And then I gave up on it. I was like, this game is cute, I love it, but I can't why would I invest time to this game? But I can invest time into Valorant, you know? But who knows? Who fucking knows? The game's probably fun, and you guys are probably the greatest players. So going back to quintessential quintuplets is peak, but I want to kill myself. I, the ending wasn't bad. So let's see. Who? So actually, let's see. Do you guys really hate the ending that much? Because here's the thing. I wanted Miku. So uh, Miku. Let's go, let's go to Miku real quick. I wanted... Or, oh my god. I wanted Miku to win because Yotsuba is my favorite, so I could have her, you know? But I but Miku, I feel like she I will agree, she did the most effort in terms of like what is it? She did the most effort in terms of like trying to get him. Uh because she's obviously the best. Like, there's no debate. She's the best Quint of all of them. She is. She just is, bro. So, yeah, no. Okay, here I'll say this. Miku did more effort than Yotsuba did in terms of like getting gaining his affection but in terms of personality looks everything she is superior in personality and everything she's just she's just her bro she's just miku's just a person she's just she's just miku but yotsuba i would i would personally choose yotsuba over miku any day anyways oh did i forget to rank this one oh i'll put it like right here uh let's see Blood Butcher, uh, it's better than Light Spain, so we'll put it, it's, I know that this is supposed to be the same weapon, but in a way, the, this one's still, this one's still somewhat better than Light Spain. 
Battle Cat's one of those games you play really on and off. I took like a two year break. Jesus. Now you trip in. Miku is peak. You mid coup? Mid coup? I'm sorry. Mid coup? Bro, she's mid. She is mid. I'm sorry to tell you, bro. She is just mid. I'm sorry. She just is. All right. Anyways. Uh, scissors. I mean, they're cool. I'll put them on top of F tier. Uh, ruler. Uh, scissors are better, so we'll put them here. I mean, ruler is cool, but yeah, yeah, fuck it. We'll put a we'll put ruler above it. Anyways, moving on. Uh, beekeeper. I'd say beekeeper. Eh, top of A. I'll put it top of A. It's a good sword. That I wouldn't go out of my way to get this if it was like a knight. Actually, no, it's a zenith material, right? We'll put it bottom S because it's a yeah, it's a zenith material. So we'll put it bottom S. Enchanted Sword, I'm putting it above the Blade of Grass. Because it's like... I, I'm i using this right now in my Starlight River playthrough. It's actually so good. It's like... they, It's just like a... It's like what is the old Reliable, pretty much. It's four month break still going. I saw Miku on Among Us. put <laughs> Crush Story in thumbnail like 2021. That's all I remember. Oh, really? Dude, people love Miku. I mean, she's like the most popular one. Like, the entire season 2, all the Quints were showing, like, love for him. And Yosuba was just kind of there in the background. Yeah, no, she was. But, in personality-wise, she just is the best, bro. She truly just is the best. Truly. Alright, let's see here. Um, what's, what's next? What is next for the... Because I'm trying to look for all the pre-hard mode swords first. Oh, Star Fury. Oh, uh, we'll put an A. Let's see. Zenith material. I mean... I like the beekeeper over the star fury, so we'll put it. Yeah, we'll put it there. We'll put it S. Why not? Also, I got 500 hours in Battle Cat. Don't judge me. Jesus Christ, bro. How much Battle Cats do you play? Or how do you even play for that long? Like, I can never play a mobile game for that long. Oh, is this the normal lance? Uh, I'd say it's just like. I'd say this one on its own. It's like D, but once you combine it, like for the. What is it? For that one. It's like, you know, it's better. And we'll put it. We'll put it here. Or, yeah, we'll put it right there. Let's see. What else is there? There is Gladius. I mean, it's like the best. It's like the best short sword, pretty much. We'll put it in terms of like where you could get it. I'll put it. I'll put it right here. It's better than Bone Sword, to be honest. I personally think it is. But the Shroomerang. Um, where's the regular Boomerang? Where's Wooden? Bo I put Wooden Boomerang D. Enchanted Boomerang. I put a. Oh, uh, fuck. We'll put it on top of C. We'll put it there. I don't know how you play that long. Yeah, I don't know either. Did you beat Korea yet? <laughs> Jesus. Are you guys all like Battle Cats fans? <laughs> Jesus. 876 hours? Jesus, what the fuck? I mean, I haven't played in a year and a half, but I've been playing on and off since 2019. That's fair. You know what? If I, hit, if I hit 10k subs, I'll play Battle Cats. If I ever hit 10k subs, I will play the fucking Battle Cats, all right? I will play the Battle Cats if I hit 10k subs. I will genuinely play that. Play through the whole game. I will beat Korea if I have to. Let's see. Shroomering, and it's only slightly above it. Because it's like, I I never use it. Even if I find it in a chest. Actually, no, it's below it. Chain of Boomerang is so much better. Uh, is there anything I'm missing? Oh, obviously, the Meatball. Uh, Yeah, we'll put that on top of C. And then we'll put the Crimson. I saw the Rotten Fork. It's A. It's a solid A tier. I mean, it gets... or Yeah, it's solid A. Gets me by the Crimson. I will bot you subs. Fuck you, man. I do not... I will make 5k on the accounts. Please, don't test me. I will test you. Ever since I moved my account to the laptop, I haven't played. Time to create six fake accounts and subs. Fuck you guys, bro. I want genuine fans, bro. If I pop a stream up at 10k subs and I only see like 10 people here, I will know that there's something up. I will know that there's something up. You guys suck, genuinely. Oh my god. Let's see. Katana. Okay, the Katana's... Uh, it's, it's bottom C. It's bottom of C, I guess. Because, like, the way you get it... Or, we'll put it right there. It's better than these, but the way you get it, it's, like, it's so luck-dependent. So fucking luck-dependent. Oh, is this the yo-yo you get from the... The, what is it? from crimson stuff all right you get it at light spain level I'll, I'll put it only just above the cactus sword because it's like you know it's only so much better and there's not really much use to get if you're doing a yo-yo playthrough then yeah i guess 
But other than that, no. Not really used for it. What is this? Is this like the Christmas... Oh, okay. I know what this is. It's like... Same... It's like... Mm, like top of D tier, I'd say. It's okay. Katana too expensive for another sword that has no projectile? Yeah, exactly. So that's why I put it like... What is it? I'll put it here. I'll put it here. Because it, it's... Yeah, it's too expensive. The way you get it, it's like... I don't see myself ever using it, so... We'll put it there. Oh, the chain knife. This one's pretty rare, I mean. And it's not really, it's not really that good either. I'll, I'll put it just above the the Christmas Cactum, whatever it's called. For another sword that has no... Yeah, okay, I already read that. <laughs> again, I have a problem with reading things again. Trident. It's only so much... I'll put it right here. It's only so much better than Spear. And you have to go to the bottom of the ocean for it. When are you... I mean, I guess if your only weapon is the spear, then I guess it's that much better. But for really, it's nothing special. Ice blade. This is an a solid S tier. This is like, uh, okay, it's bottom. It's bottom S tier, or it's top of A. Top of A tier. It's really good, especially you like enchanted sword. It's not enchanted sword level, but once you get it, it's like that shit can carry you until you can get like one of these weapons. Ice blade is peak. That's why, that's why sometimes you'll see me go to the Snowbomb. Because the Ice Blade, it's like... You can get the Frostburn Arrows, which are like... It's like a free, like, what is it? It's like a free, like, what is it? Like, I can do a kill once you get the Frost Arrows. I'm not using... I'm not using 75% of the weapons game. Yeah, no, exactly. I'm only using a few. I get it super early pre-hard mode and knockback is insane. Yeah, it is. Spear A tier? You know what? I can... I'll put it, I'll put it top of, uh, I'll put it B. I'll put it B. I see what you guys, you guys are saying. The spear is pretty good. It's really good weapon. Very reliable, very reliable early hard mode. Uh, it's more, you can get it easier than the, it's more useful. All right, we'll put it middle of B. We'll put it middle of B. Especially on zombies. Yeah, I agree. hundred percent. Um, let's see. What, what's next for pre hard mode? I know I'm missing a few. This is not a uh, what melee weapon, so we're not gonna rate that. The slap pen, I don't know. This, this one's pretty good. If you can traverse your way through uh, the desert, I'd say it's top of B. This is easily a top of B weapon. I, you know, it's better than this. We'll put it here. The storm lance is real. It's insane. Better than the spear and blood fork for sure. This is like one of those like insanely good pre mode weapons. Zombie hand C tier. Uh, I put it. I put it this tier. Cause it's rare think about it it's pretty it's a rare weapon to get and by the time like if unless you're super lucky yeah it could be c tier but for the most part you're never really gonna get it like on like the first zombie you kill if that's the case then it's like b tier but or c tier high c tier low b but for the most part not really that good let's see or is are these the phase blades phase blades i will put because the progression, I will put it B tier. Because if you, if you, like, you can only really get this once you kill the Brain of Cthulhu. And it, by that, and by that point, you'd probably have, like, the Blade of Grass, right? So why would you craft this if you have the Blade of Grass already? If this was pre-1.4, where you, if you, where it's just, like, you break one orb and it's, like, you know, a meteor spawns, it's instant S tier. Because of the way you could just get it instantly. But... It's it's better than these two for sure. If you really don't have this weapon, then I'd say go for it. But it's really because of the way they changed it, you know? By the time I got Zombie Hand, I had the Night's Edge. Exactly. That's what I mean. Blowpipe is a melee weapon. You just aren't using it correctly. Is it really? Or am I just stupid? Blowpipe. I, I, imagine if I actually looked up like Blowjob or something. Holy shit. It, it is a ranged weapon. You are, I don't know what you're smoking, my guy, but it is a ranged weapon. Moving on, we have the candy cane sword. I mean, eh, we'll put it here. It's okay. If you could get it, and eh, we'll put a bottom of C tier. I mean, if you could get it, I mean, I guess it's okay. Or, you know what, fuck it. We'll put a top of D tier. We'll see. Let's see. I need to look up the yo-yo. I'll do the yo-yos at the end. It is or was the, what is it? The... I, I don't know what you mean. Anyways, moving on. I got distracted by my dog. It is or was, I swear. 
Oh yeah, no, no, yeah, the blowpipe. It's, yeah, it's a ranged weapon. Oh no, I've been able to swing, swing the blowpipe. I think you were able to swing it, but I don't know if you were able to use it as like a melee weapon. That's the thing. That's what I'm confused about. Uh, Arcalis, Arcalis, and Terragrim. I mean, these are like the same weapon, right? We'll put it. We'll put it. Uh, I mean, if you get this over the enchanted sword, is it really that much better? We'll put it. We'll put it here. We'll put these two weapons like it below the ice blade. It was meant to be a joke. Oh shit, my bad. My bad. I'm so you you still you need to read chat, so I mean I guess they're okay. You know what? We'll put it above the ice blade. The ice blade debatable because it has a projectile, but these two Pro gave me the Mundan effect. <laughs> my bad. Let's see. What well, I say let's see a lot. I gotta get out of it. Oh, is this like the same thing as the meatball? I think the meatball is slightly better though, yeah? And yeah, we'll put it below it. Um Is there anything I'm missing? That's the phase of her, so. Hmm. I don't know. I don't is is that it? Oh, is this the, this is the dungeon yo yo, so. It's not that good. I'll right, we'll put it top of C tier. By that time I'm using like the Murmass I believe. I'm using all of these by the time I get like the, some of these weapons, it depends like if I get them by the time I get them. Uh code one and code two. I'll, um let's see this is like some of these are uh this one this is a rare drop this is like it's like right here i guess the problem with this stream is that i can't consistently write skill issue exactly you know what fuck you guys that's gonna be next stream all right we're gonna we're gonna complete that so we're gonna complete the the mod next stream for sure that's gonna be a next stream all right so fuck you guys and fuck you and everything you live for all right fuck you um the the swordfish the delay sometimes be changing the entire meaning of messages there's not really that big of a delay i'm pretty sure i think it's like 10 seconds or something uh the, the swordfish i mean the swordfish is like if you get it it's okay but are you really yeah what's up with the 10 second delay dude i don't know i can't fix it I, it's like one of those things i can't really fix so I don't know. You know what? My bad. I'm just a dunk. You know what? Skill. That's a skill issue right there. My bad. I'm just a shit streamer. My bad, truly. If only I could contact YouTube and make sure that they, you know, give me a zero second delay so you guys can, like, type in chat. And I can respond to you faster than any girl responds to me on iMessage or Instagram DMs. Then, yeah, that's my bad, truly. I should be able to contact them, but hey, that's my fault. We'll put the swordfish, uh, right around here. It's okay if you get it. But at that, but. If you're like, a, if you're good at fish, or if you want to like, if you're dedicated to fishing, yeah, you can get this pretty early in the game. We'll put it above the yo-yo. Why not? Skill issue, exactly. Yeah, fuck you, man. Um, Knight's Edge. I mean, it's Knight's Edge. It's t it's like the best pre-hard mode sword, pretty much. It's for a while. I remember seeing that there was like a debate between the Enchanted Sword and the Knight's Edge being the best swords in the game. But ever since like the recent like patches for this sword, it has to be the best sword in the game, really. Same thing with the Muramasa and the Fiery Great Sword. And the Blade of Grass, honestly, I will I will arguably put this, like, what is it? About the enchanted sword. Second delivery is like, fuck you. No no one likes fishing in Terraria, what do you mean? Yeah, no one likes fishing. So I mean, this is only good if you're a fisher, you know? It's only good if you're a fisher, but you can really get this early on in the game, and it's pretty easy to get. The blue moon, they buffed it. I know they buffed it. I'd say it's top of A for where you could get it. And the sun fury, sun fury is like bottom S. It's a really good flail for where you could get it. I've never fished and never will. I only fished for the achievements and for certain accessories, so I can't really speak on that. I'd be a hypocrite, but, you know. Allergic to terraria fishing, that's fair. That is completely fair. Everyone is at some point in their life. Dark Lance. Didn't they buff this? I know they buffed it. Let me see. Dark Lance. Yeah, Lance Terraria. Dark Lance. I mean, is it? They did buff it. 34 damage. It does the Shadow Flame effect. You know what? I think I've used it before. We will put it... We'll put it above the ice. Or we'll put it here. We'll put it high A tier. My eyes started turning red. Exactly. I fished for the cell phone. Yeah, no. I fished for the cell phone, the achievement, and frog leg. Because those accessories, or those, like, the items you get for the cell phone, it's just worth it to get the cell phone in the end. It just, it really genuinely is. Alright, is that all the pre-hard mode shit? 
Is that actually all the pre-hardened stuff? Did I actually do that all? No fucking way. All right. That's all the pre-hardened stuff, I think. Again, I think... Oh, there's this. I mean, this is a hammer, I'm pretty sure, so... I mean, it's a hammer. I think it's a top hammer, though, so... But for a melee weapon, it's top of D tier, I guess. Never gaining sen sentience. I leave the angler to float in the ocean. Exactly. I do, too, until I have a house for him. So... I think that's all the pre-hard mode. I know there's this, but that's like borderline hard mode. There's there's one weapon here. I'm pretty sure that's pre-hard mode. There's one weapon, and I'm maybe I'm blind. I think I'm just blind. The Hellfire. I think I think that's a hard mode. It's hard. Mode. Oh, there's oh there's these two. I'm blind as fuck. Falcon, if you're willing to fish for it, if you are willing to fish for it, then the Falcon is. Above the Arcalis. It is a really good weapon. I've had it myself. It's a really good weapon. It's nowhere near these levels, but if you're desperate for a sword, then the Falcon's pretty good. The Jousting Lynch, can you get... You can get that pre-hard mode, right? Oh, yeah, you can. I mean, it's not that good. I'd say... it's. I mean, I guess it's better than these two, but it's bottom. It's like low C tier, I guess. What else? What else is there? There's the... Oh, there's the... the I mean... It's a NPC accessory, and it's not really that good. Better than the ruler, though. Cascade? That's right, the Cascade. Where is the Cascade? Pretty hard mode yo-yo. I gotta look at the yo-yos. Yo-yo Terraria. Let's see. Because I don't really know... Or, I know them, but it's like... Okay. Rally, Artery. This is... Okay, this is like the cool... This is the... Uh, what is it? The Melis, right? Yeah, that's like... This is the thing you make with the... What is it? Oh, where is it? We'll put the same... It's better than the Malice, I'm pretty sure, because it's Crimson. So, let's see. What else is there? The Rally. That's fair. I put it at the same tier as the Woody Yo-Yo. I put it above the... The, uh, what is it? The Katana, because you can get it easily. Amazon. Code 1. It's sold by the Traveling Merchant, and then Code 2 is a hard mode. It is... I think it's hard mode, right? Yeah, it's hard. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it's, it's hard mode. Cascade, high five... Cascade's good. I know the Cascade's pretty good. We'll put it like the same tier as the Dark, Dark Lance. If you have a good yo-yo setup, then yeah, Cascade's pretty good. Uh, high five. This is the B one, right? The high five you can get with B wax. Uh, better than the Valor, which you get from the dungeon. Or it's not here. They don't have the high five here. All right, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Maylor, Hellfire. Um. Uh... From Cavern, Underworld, Hard Mode, Enemies, and Hard Mode. That's fair. Let's see. You still don't know Terraria Yo-Yo's out? Shut the fuck up. Well, I know. I just don't I just don't use them all the time. Or, I don't I don't ever really use Terraria Yo-Yo's. Because of, like, how, like, much better, like, the current melee weapons are. Especially, like, like the swords. Like, true, true melee. It's so much better now. What else? So, Code 1, Amazon. I think that's all the pre-hard mode Yo-Yo's. Um, yeah, it's all the pre-hard mode yo-yos, and I think that's everything for pre-hard mode. And then there's the Breaker Blade. It's top of B. Because at that point, you have the Knight's Edge. You have the Knight's Edge. Why would you use the Breaker Blade? You know? That and, like, the Breaker Blade, it's like... If it was used for something, if you could upgrade it, like, in Calamity, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure you could upgrade the Breaker Blade in Calamity, but... For the most part, it's not that good. It's really not that good. I'm sorry to tell you. It's not that good. But moving on to hard mode, it seems like we have the Cobalt Sword. I mean, you have the Knight's Edge. It's top of C along with this thing. You have better things. You have, I, I'd i say it's better than the Dark Land. Or no, it's not. It's not. I'd say for where you can get it, it's slightly below the Cascade. Cobalt Sword, C tier. Same with the mithril with the mithril sword. I'd say they're they're only slightly slightly better than their counterparts. Or yeah, we'll put the we'll put the spears like at the same level right here. Same with the adamantite sword. Like all these swords, I would put these in like a B or A tier. If it was back in like 1.1, 1 .1, where you could craft the Excalibur with these swords, but you can't anymore. Flame chest stream one, dude. I, I am shit at chess. One chest stream, chest stream you'd go so hard. No the fuck I would not. I mean, I mean, I would play chess. It's interesting to play chess. I would love to play chess, but, you know, I can't really, I just can't pay attention that long, you know? I genuinely can't pay attention. So, who knows? But, 
As to the tier list, yeah, for fun, he got, got like 350 elo. Jesus, you suck. Oh, that's right, the anchor. I mean, the anchor's not really that good. It's like, eh, if we're, if we can get it, it's like, it's above the boomerangs for sure. We'll put it right there. Or, eh, we'll put it, yeah, we'll put it above the boomerangs. Anyways, moving on, we have the, oh, that's right, the titanium one. I think the titanium one's like the only one you'd really get. I'd say, yeah, it's like right around there. I'd say it's, I'd say this one, this lance is actually pretty decent. So, I mean, sure, we'll put it, we'll put it, we'll put them like that. Because it's like, these are obviously better than the swords in general. Yeah, go, you guys are going to 1v1 in chess? Jesus. You guys are going to have so much flame. I want to fight you in chess. I'm going to obliterate you. Oh, wait until I actually play chess. We'll have a chess stream eventually. Eventually. It'll be boring as fuck because I don't know how to play the game, but you know it'll be an experience to say the least okay this weapon's actually pretty good for where you can get it this is like an immediate like s tier for where we could get it i always use this like these guillotines i don't know what they're called same with this one the bad in it this is like an iconic weapon to kill the destroyer with so these two it's like i would put them here we'll put them here why the fuck not because i use them i use them all the time I'd say this one's not as good as the Knight's Edge, but in the current form of the Knight's Edge, but this one's still insanely good against Destroyer, so we'll use that. We'll put him there. Banana rings, we'll put we'll put top of A. Cause you you only really need three now, but they're still pretty rare. They're not really that good. Oh the mechanics wrench, uh, we'll put it like eh, it's top of it's bottom D. It's better than these NPC accessories or weapons. There's the the code one and code two. Or what's this one? This is the code one. Oh, that's right. It's uh, pre-hard mode yo-yo. Uh, code one. We'll put it. We'll put it right there. And the code two. I mean, we'll put it this. It's, it's only slightly better than these, especially if you don't have anything better. But eh, we'll put it. We'll put it right there. Summoner tier list one. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe eventually. Right now we're just gonna do the melee ones. I think the summoner will be. What is it? I don't know. Cause I want to focus on like videos again. But. Who knows? Manga tier list? That would be interesting. If I could get like a pretty good like fan base in the manga community, then yeah, I would love to do a manga tier list. That would be insane. I'd fucking love that. Um, what else? We have... Hmm. Okay, there's this one. This one's pretty good. I'd say it's... Yeah, I'd say it's pretty good high A. Don't you need, need, only need one? Do you only need one banana ring? I mean, even then, even if you only need one, I'd say this is pretty fair rating. Top of A if you only need one. That's what I mean. Like, they buffed it to where you only need, like, one or three. So, every box tier list one. He said mage. Saint. Oh, he said... No, he said some... Motherfucker. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. We'll do them eventually. We'll do every class eventually. Oh, uh, boomerangs. Oh, that's right. I forgot to bring the boomerangs. Oh, that's right. The ice boomerang. Oh, uh, if we could get it, it's like... I'd say it's right there. Same with the flame ring. I mean, all the boomerangs are really, like, you know... I'd say this one's right there. I'd say it's right there. Same with the ice ring. For where you could get it. Yeah. Um, let's see. Hellfire. Hellfire is a pretty good yo yo, but I would rather the ice one's better, and you by that point, yeah, we'll put it right there. The yellets. Yellets I'm putting S. It's like one of the superior yo yo's you could get early pre hard mode. Mage so I would do mage. I think the mage one mage is a pretty popular class, so I'll do that one next. But for the yellets Yellets, I get it, like, after the Blade of Grass. It's an easy, like, S tier. Or not after the Blade of Grass. I get it early hard mode. And it's, like, these four weapons right here are, like, the four horsemen of early hard mode. So, especially the buff Knight's Edge. Desicle Chippy tier. So, we'll do this one right now. Here's the thing about the Desicle. Actually, no. With its increased drop chance? Yeah, actually, I agree with you. I think the Desicle is just, like, just below the Yellets. For where you can get it, I think you have to kill a mechanical boss to get it. And by that point, you have, like, the true Knight's Edge or true Excalibur. Yeah, we'll put it here. But we're going to put weapons above it for sure. As for the yo-yos, we have the chick. We have the chick. This one, it's not that good. I mean, I mean, you craft it. But at that point, you have these two yo-yos. It's like, you know, why would you craft this one? We'll put it, we'll put it with the, we'll put it, we'll put it there. Why not? We'll put it there beam sword i have a relationship with this one if you're lucky enough to get it it's really good but with the buff knight's edge i'd say it's i'm gonna say it's top b for now with where you could get it 
Back in the day, Zenith didn't exist. Exactly. Desticle, Chippy Pierce, Slur, Eruption. Yeah, when Zenith didn't exist, those were like... Were the Star Wrath or Mountain was better? Yeah, I think the Star Wrath was, was better, to be honest. But little did they know about the Solar Eruption. The Solar Eruption was way superior, to be honest. I love this weapon. People underestimate this weapon, too. It's a really good fucking weapon. Or the, the Lance. The Solar the solar Lance. Let's see. The next weapon we will do is... What's this yo-yo right here? This yo-yo is the... Format C, uh, not as good as the Hellfire. We will put it above since you could get. I'd rather get this one than this one, you know. So let's see the next one. Oh, is this the Orc Halcom? Oh, I forgot about the Orc Halcom set. Yeah, they're only slightly better than their Alterior. Their Alterio. I can't fucking speak right now. And their Alterior, like what is it? Craftable. So we'll put them right there. Then we have the. Let's see. This one's okay, but you can get the beam sword more easily, and you have to fish for it. Who's really fishing for this weapon? We'll put it at B tier. But it has a cool effect where you can, like, you know, get, like, an Ikor effect on the other people or the other enemies. It's it's okay. It's, 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 it's okay, I guess. So, you never know. You never know. We'll put it there. But as for the rest, yeah, we'll just keep it like that. But... Let's see. There's this one. That yo-yo. That's the... Uh, what is it? Oh, Gradients. Actually, I think that one's good. This one's a really good one. I will put it... This is a low A one, yeah. We'll put it right here. Low A. These two are better, but if you can get this one before these two... Yeah, this yo-yo is really good. Re solid yo-yo, especially from the Traveling Merchant. It is pretty rare, though. So, I mean, good luck getting that. Um, Where are the true Knight's Edge... Okay, are we done yet? Or no, slap hand, slap hand. It's top of the. It's 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 slap hand. I mean, nothing more to explain here. Okay, this weapon right here. Do people really use it? I really like this weapon. I really like this weapon because you know it's like the yin and yang. I love Japanese style, but it's really it's really just okay. And you're not really. And I already have these weapons, so it's better than the blue moon. Yeah, we'll put it above the blue moon. It's only ever so slightly better than the Blue Moon, though. This one's hard to get. It's really good, but... Or, what is it called again? Let's see. Blood Moon. Blood Moon. Oh, weapons. Terraria. The Blood Moon. Um, what is it called? So let me find it. Uh, I'm back again. Got disconnected for some reason. Welcome back. Truly unfortunate. Unfortunate for you. Let's see... I can't find the, what is it, the, oh, Dropler Clipter, Clipler, 110 melee damage, yeah, this one's pretty good, especially if you can get it, it's better than the Deo Pow. so, I'd say, if you're lucky enough to get it, I'd say it's right here, I'd say it's a pretty solid weapon if you get it, bro was making the 6k YouTube putt, no fucking way, if he was, I would, no, I would never have bought subs, never in a million years, <laughs> But moving on, we have this lance. I'd say all like the lance, the jousting lances. Like, where's where did I put the other one? Where did I put the other jousting lance? Oh, I put it like C tier. So I'd say we'll put all like the lances like there, because they're like they're not really that good. I mean, they're they're like those like for fun weapons, you know. And same can go for the what is it? Uh, actually, I can't find it. Shadow knife. This is an easy S tier for where. It's Goblin Army, really easy to get. These are like the five horsemen. I'd say I'd re I'd put this above the Yellets. I would use these four, or I'd use this over the Guillotines. Like these three are like my main weapons for early hard mode right now. Cause the Shadow Knife, it's it's the Shadow Knife. I mean, there's not really much there's not really much to say about it. It's the fucking Shadow Knife. The Cutlass, Cutlass, it was above the Knight's Edge, but with the boss. With the buffs to the night, the melee weapons, the Knight's Edge, the Cutlass really fell off. Like, it's it's with the Beam Sword. Or it's below the Beam Sword, to be honest. Because the Beam Sword has a projectile. This one does more damage, but it's not really as good as the Beam Sword. Actually, eh, it's better than the Beam Sword. I'm pretty sure. I'd say it's solid. It's a solid weapon, but... For where Shadow Flame Knife is peak? Yeah, it's really... Especially against, like, the Twins. Like, it's peak. But the Cutlass fell off ever since they buffed the Knight's Edge. With its insane projectiles now. The KO Cannon, I mean, it's a Blood Moon weapon. It's not really that good. 
We'll put it just above the Breaker Blade in B tier. Because it depends how you... Actually, we'll put it top C. We'll put it in the top C tier. Not gonna lie, just as a weapon, but I don't know. Something about them is cool. Yeah, something about it's cool. Exactly. Like, some of these weapons, it's like... They're iconic and, like, they're cool. So, it's like... It's kind of hard to rate it that way. Phasaber, again, it's the same with same story with the Cutlass. It's like... It would be insane. It would be insane. But the Knight's Edge just overpowers it severely. It really does. They're also pretty easy to get. Yeah, it is pretty easy to get these two weapons. But you have the Knight's Edge at this point. So they're all... It's arguably better. Excala, or... No, we'll do that one in a bit. After I do a certain one. Which, actually, I think we did all the pre-mech ones. This one's okay. This one's not that good. It's it's D tier for sure. It's D tier. Flying knife is D tier for sure. As for the rest of these, I don't really know too much about the mushroom spear. It's a solid. It's I'd say it's B. It's a good spear. It's a really good spear, I'd say. And then we have this one's hard to get. Well, it's not hard to get. It's just a traveling merchant drop. But even when you do get it, it's not really that good compared to like the other weapons you probably have. Yeah, we'll put it there. Answer your math questions, do more damage. Fuck no, dude. If I want to answer my math questions, I got chat GPT or any other, or Mathway, bro. Mathway was the the best carry in my, uh, see, in my, was it, high school days, which was literally just a couple months ago. S, you're an S. But anyways, let's see. What's next? The, we'll do the Excalibur. Excalibur? This is like the first weapon you can arguably put over the Knight's Edge, but even then it's like, it's only, I'd say, yeah, we'll put it there. We'll put it top S for now. Mainly because it's a Zenith material and the Excalibur, it's it's the Excalibur with the recent buff to it. I'd say it's not really much better than Knight's Edge, but it's pretty close. It's like, you, it'd make you want to think, like, do you want to use the Excalibur over the Knight's Edge? Because it does more damage and it's faster, but the Knight's Edge still has, like, that projectile where it's, like, for collateral damage. But this one's still insane. So, as as for next, I'm pretty sure the True Knight's Edge is next. And this one, it's good. It's, like, probably the best. Vampire Knife overrated. It's overrated, but it's still my favorite weapon in the game. And I will get back to this one later. Icicle, that's right. Icicle and Frostbrand, how can I fear it? Frostbrand? It's A tier. Same with the Icicle. These two are A tier, but the Knight's Edge and all these weapons, it's like they're so much better than this. But... I'd say if you don't have it, it's the same story as the Cutlass and Phaseover. But this one has a cool projectile. It's and these two are so much better. Or the icicle's better than the uh, Beam Sword and Frostbrand. But Frostbrand's still so cool. I fucking love the sword. If it was like pre Knight's Edge, then yeah, I'd definitely rock this this sword over Knight's Edge. Fire Vampire Knives ruined the game too good. No, they're they're in a decent spot. They're in a pretty good spot right now where it's at, where you can only get it like post Plantera. The Obsidian Swordfish. I mean, you have to fish for it. It's not really that good. I'd say it's right around there. The, uh, let's see. True Excalibur. This one, I'd, I'd argue, it's better than the True Knight's Edge. I would argue this one's better than the True Knight's Edge, because it's faster. The True Knight's Edge does slightly more damage, and it has a cool projectile, but other than that, the True Excalibur is just insane. It's just pretty fast, better collateral damage. This is where you can start using the Excalibur over the Knight's Edge, so we'll leave it there. Gun gear, I mean, yeah, it's here. It's it's a solid. I, they buffed it. I do know they buffed it to where it's like it's insane now. So, actually, yeah, I've used it. It's top of A. It's a top of A weapon. Not really S yet. So, but it's a pretty solid weapon. Red's throw. I mean, for where you can get it, I'd say it's with like all the other like hard mode yo-yos. Same with uh, what is it? What's this yo-yo? Valkyrie from Lazur's set. Yeah, it's the same. They're around the same. So we'll put it there. The, um, I don't know what the, oh, Chlorophyte. Okay, Chlorophyte weapons are, they're like, they're all C, let's be real. Because at that point, you have these two. This one you can make out of Chlor. My brother plays his, my brother plays his videos 24-7. That's fair. That's fair. I would put a D for that reason, but for it being a good weapon. We'll put it there. Because Chlorophyte, right? Chlorophyte weapons, you could get the true Excalibur by the time you make these. And this is superior. This is far more better than these weapons can ever be. So 
we'll put it there. The flower, the flower pow weapon. We'll put it top of A. Or actually, no. We'll put it... For where you could get it, I would rather use the Gungnir over the Flower Pal. I've watched Terraria beating with zero frames like 14 times. <laughs> nice. Light Discs, they buffed them. They're okay. I'd say, you know, I'd say they're S. I would say they're bottom S here. They're pretty solid now since the buff. This sword's pretty good, but people don't really get it that much. We'll put it top of B here. Same with, uh, we'll put this one C. This one's not really that good. I'd say, yeah, it's top of C, I guess. I'd say all, like, the... the what? No, the, this one's insane. This one, I would argue, is top of A. No, this one's S. This one's S. For where you can get it, yeah, I agree. But it's really good. It's really fun to use. It's above the Blade of Grass where you can get it. It's a fun weapon to use. Same with this one. This Okay, this one's C. But this weapon's insane. If you use it, especially the right-click fe feature, insanely, insanely fucking good. I, uh, or used, not sure if they got reworked. Yeah, a lot of weapons got reworked. That's why I'm reading these. Christmas Tree Sword got reworked, but actually, that's like, that's where, that's where the, uh, what is it? I think we can start rating the good ones. The Seedler. Seedler is a Zenith Sword, so we will put it, we'll put it here. Or, yeah, we'll put it there. Zenith Material. All Zenith Materials are pretty, pretty solid, so. Do you need the Starlight for the Zenith? No, you don't. This one, I feel like it could... It has so much more potential. We'll put it top of A. It's a really good weapon, but at the same time, it's like you're it's art you already have better weapons. You already have better weapons for where it's at. And then the Terra Blade. This is like I mean, come on. It's the fucking Terra Blade, man. It's still really good. You, you just got see the S tier got got it in pre hard mode? You sure you're not talking about the blade of grass? I mean the Seedler's something else. The Seedler's from Plantera and this is Zen material, so I think you're talking about the Blade of Grass. See, there's just like a buff version of that. So, Terra Blade is just like the Terra Blade. So, no explanation needed there. And then we have the I Cthulhu. I Cthulhu is a solid yo-yo. We'll put it... We'll put it right here in, in the S tier. We'll put it there. Then we have the Golem Fist. Golem Fist is okay, I mean. Uh, we'll put it... We'll put it right here. No, it's not S. It's not S. We'll put it... We will put it right here. It's okay. Zenith S tier got it pre... Okay, of course you did. Oh, yeah, sure. What the fuck? Whatever, man. Paladin's Hammer and Possessed Hatchet. These two are hard to debate. We'll come back to those later. Influx Waver, it's not that good. It's top of B. It's around the same weapon... Or single of as this weapon right here. The Christmas Tree Sword, I would say this one is... It's not the same as the Seedler. Is it used for the Zenith? No. So it's below the Seedler, I'd argue. Talking about Plantera Seedler? Yeah, Plantera... No, what, that's it. Okay, whatever. We will, we'll just ignore that. Key brand? I mean, it's the key brand. It's not really that good. It's... I'd say it's like right around there. And the Possessed Hatchet. I accidentally put a Plantera Bulb in pre-hard mode. Edit, oh, and T-Edit? Okay. So you cheated to get it. And my brother kept breaking them. It kept us with our pre skill junk here. <laughs> okay. But we fought it back. That's actually, that's, that's actually kind of wild, though. I can't even lie. I don't even, not even gonna lie. That's kind of wild. Oh, a cycle blade. It's. Uh, we'll put it here. I mean, it's not really that good. It does a lot of damage. has a cool effect. Yeah. Not much to say about it. Fleuron's S. Fleuron's an easy S. Uh, Kraken, Yo-Yo, I mean, uh, it's not that good. You already have, you have the Eye Cthulhu at that point, so, we'll put it, we'll put it here. We'll put it there, why not? North Pole, I mean, if you're willing to do the Ice Moon, I guess it's worth it. Uh, we'll put it, we'll put it there. Actually, no, we'll put it there. It's better than that, for sure. Alright, Paladin's Hammer, Possessed Hatchet. Possessed Hatchet? I'd say these are both S tier regardless, but as for which one's better, I'd say Possessed Hatch is better since you could throw out two of them. Paladin's Hammer's got a short range, but I'd argue the Possessed Hatch is so much better. Basically, spend the next five hours inside a Hoi Clue. Jesus Christ. That would probably, that takes a long ass time, I'd imagine. Vampire Knives. Fl Flare on so overrated, does like a thousand DPS. That's fair, but it carries you through the, what is it? It carries you through the, was it, Lunar Events? 
Vampire Knives, I'm, I know they're overrated, but we'll put them here. And I'd say they're better than the Eye Cthulhu and Flare On. I love this weapon to death. I will use it all the time if I want to heal my health. So, I'd say it's there. I'd argue it's there, for sure. And as for these last four, these two aren't even in the game. Horseman's Blade. If you're willing to get it, it is... I'd say... I'd say it's there, yeah. Or... No, it's around it's around there. I'd say if you're willing to get it. The solar eruption. This is S. This is slightly below eh, I'd use the terror blade over that. Actually, yeah, I'd use the terror blade over that. But this is, you know, solar eruption's S. No debate. Corruption, uh, top of A for sure. I don't really use this. Eh, actually, we'll put it we'll put it in S. Put it in S. In a mid S. Star Wrath. Or, all right, now we got the final four here. We're just gunning through these. So we have the Terrarian S, obviously. Now, this is where it debates. I would use the Star Wrath over the Meowmere. I would. I genuinely would. The Meowmere is just like, I would just, I just would use the Star Wrath over the Meowmere any day. So, Star Wrath is better. And of course, we have the Zenith. We have, oh, what did I do? Shit. Um. I did not mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. Fuck. Uh, did I just duplicate something? It's fine. The Zenith is S tier. 100%. Um, did I do something? I accidentally did something. We'll delete that. Can I delete this? Can I delete this, please? What did I do? I just messed up. I just fucked up my own tier list. Fuck. Delete? Fuck. You know what? It's fine. We'll just pretend this is normal, alright? We'll pretend this is normal, so... I think that does it. I think I wouldn't really change some stuff here. But then again, I have to go real soon, so... I think this does it. But anyways, this is every melee weapon in Terraria rated. I'd say this is fair. I would argue this is a fair tier list. I would genuinely argue this is a fair tier list. Let me know what you guys think, to be honest. You know what? There's not really any anyone here. Tempest Staff used to be so ass, show. Eternal Torment. I don't know why this message was held for a year. I don't know why, but I'm going to show it anyways. Who knows? But anyways, I think I'm just going to call it here. That was a good fucking tier list. That was a, I was a solid tier list, boys. I did a shit job ranking at all of these. Let's be real. I did a horrible job ranking these, so I say that does it. I say that does it for this stream. I was just here to give my shit opinion. Next stream, I don't know because I'm gonna start work. I'm, I think the next stream, I'm just gonna finish Starlight River. So, next stream, I'm gonna finish Starlight River, and then after that, I'm gonna focus on videos again. So, who knows what's gonna be uh, what's gonna be held for the future? I do not know, but as for now, I just want to get this out of the way, get my shit opinion out there, you know. Good stream, yeah, it was a good stream. I'd say it was a solid stream of like shit opinions, good anime talk. When's next one? I do not know. Probably sometime this week. If I can get a video out. Because I'm going to try and get a video out by Friday then. I'm getting a video out by Friday and a stream. I don't know. But who knows? This is my Melee Weapon Terraria tier list. And I'm going to call it here. Yeah. There's a good short stream today. I will see you guys when I fucking feel like it. Have a good rest of your whatever the fuck you're doing, alright? Have a good rest of your day. Later.